Hi and welcome to Database Storage, one of the topic videos in a series I'm producing for certification prep for the Snowflake SnowPro Core exam. My name is Joyce Avila and I earned my SnowPro Core certification in April 2020. If you haven't yet watched my introduction video, I recommend you watch it first. In this video, I'm going to talk briefly about storage. The storage and protection portion of the Snowflake exam is worth 15%. The database storage layer, sometimes called the data layer, is one of the three layers in the Snowflake architecture. All Snowflake data is stored in databases and the stored data is always compressed and always encrypted. I saw a great many questions on the exam about Snowflake micropartitions. It is important to note that micropartitions are the physical rather than logical data files. Users don't define the partition schema. Instead, Snowflake automatically partitions the data as it is ingested. Each micropartition holds between 50 and 500 megabytes of uncompressed data, which is about 10 to 100 megabytes of compressed data. Remember that all Snowflake data stored in databases are compressed. Snowflake stores metadata about the rows stored in micropartition, and that metadata includes the range of values for each of the columns and the number of distinct values. Snowflake has two key features in their storage architecture, time travel and zero copy cloning. Both of these will be covered more in upcoming videos, but it is important to remember that external tables do not support cloning, time travel, or fail safe. You can see from the table that cloning is supported by transient and permanent tables. Time travel is supported by temporary, transient, and permanent tables. And you'll notice that only permanent tables support failsafe. Snowflake storage costs are calculated based on compressed data size and the daily average of the amount stored. The amount of data stored includes time travel and failsafe. Note that cloning objects does not incur any additional costs unless and until changes are made to the cloned object. Also, unlimited numbers of shares can be created and shared data does not incur additional storage charges. You'll find more topic videos on YouTube and be sure to reach out to me on Twitter or LinkedIn and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much.